Hello, this is Sarah Wiseman, uh, your chronic condition manager for the city of Dayton. This month we're going to be making honey crisp apple salad. So um, just some things you'll need for this recipe. Uh, we're going to make some candied walnuts, so I'll show you how to make those. You'll need a half a cup of candied walnuts. So we'll use some walnuts, brown sugar, and butter. You do not need this many walnuts at all, but that'll be uh, what we'll do first. Then we're going to show you how to cut the lettuce and chop that up. Um, you'll need one red, red onion, two small apples, um, honey crisp or crisp apples, uh, dried cranberries, goat cheese, and then for your dressing, you'll need some honey, pepper, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, and some olive oil. First, we're going to make the candied walnuts. All right, for the candied walnuts, we're going to need a half a cup of walnuts. So I'll get these open. Um, you can use pecans instead of the walnuts for this part. I prefer the walnuts just because they are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, especially if you're somebody who's not big on fish. Um, it's a great way to get those um, get those omega-3s in without having the fish. So we're going to use a half a cup. I'm going to need a couple more. And then we'll just add these to our pan. Um, we're going to use some brown sugar. And if you're making more of this, you can go a quarter cup, but we just need a half of a, a batch of this. So we're going to use um, an eighth a cup, so two tablespoons. There are four tablespoons in a quarter cup. So we need two tablespoons. And brown sugar, you want to make sure it's packed and even across the top. And then we just need a little bit of butter. So it's another like about one and a half teaspoons of butter. So I'm just going to heat this up and stir constantly for about five minutes and then we'll separate it and put it onto our parchment paper to cool off. All right, now that the walnuts are, um, you can see they're nice and melted, we're gonna let them cool and kind of separate on our little sheet here. And we'll move those out of the way for, for now. Um, you can buy candied walnuts, it's just a little cheaper if you wanna make your own. Just for, you can also buy your own mixed greens or your bag of mixed greens. You're gonna use about a, four cups of mixed greens in this recipe for, um, we're just gonna use green leaf lettuce, but. Um, it is cheaper and also the lettuce will last longer if you buy the head of lettuce. So we'll start showing you how to cut up that next. All right, next we're going to chop up our lettuce, which I have not washed this yet because we will wash it when I spin it. Um, it is a lot easier to wash when you are, um, have already got the leaves cut up so that you can actually get all of the leaves wet. There's dirt in there from when it was growing. So we want to make sure we get all of that dirt out. So first thing, when you're cutting a head of lettuce, you want to look for about the middle of the back of the butt end of it, and we want to cut down the middle. And just like that, we're going to put this side to, um, just over to the side for now. And any loose leaves we have that look about bite size, we can just rip up and put into here because we are going to spin it after we're done. All right, now you wanna take the flat end and put the flat end down. And what we're gonna do is just cut straight lines down the middle of the lettuce, all the way down to the bottom. And if you are one that you like finer chopped lettuce, you can do some more cuts um, down lengthwise. And um, once you're ready, we can actually we're going to bunch this together and make that claw like we talked about during our last video. Um, you don't want to cut off your fingertips. So you want to have your fingers kind of facing in towards you. And we're going to make nice little cuts down the edge. I'm just going to move my hand down the lettuce as I go. Again, making that rocking motion with the knife. 
should have nice little bite-sized pieces here, nothing huge chunks. And we're gonna throw that into our spinner. And do the same thing with our other half now. for like a taco salad or something where you want that really, really fine um, lettuce, you can just do even tinier cuts, just like that. Um, but this is just gonna be normal salad, so I'm gonna keep that little bit of bigger pieces in there. And now I'll put water in this and I will spin it around with water in it uh, a couple times just to drink drain off all the dirt that's on the lettuce. And then um, after I do that a couple times, uh, we'll just spin it to dry and throw it in a bowl. All right, now we're gonna prep the rest of our salad. So we have a couple of apples here. I'm just gonna hand slice them, um, just to make it a little easier. But we'll cut off, um, cut out the core. So we'll just do nice thin slices without cutting yourself, going lengthwise. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy. And as I throw them in, look how, look how much lettuce we got out of just one head of green leaf lettuce. Um, and then kind of compare that to the bag. You get the same amount of, well, the same lettuce head for the same price, even cheaper than um, the bag of lettuce. And this is gonna last probably about the whole week. And you get so much more lettuce out of it. So um, a good alternative, the, it does save some time to have the bag of lettuce, but you'll get a lot more lettuce for your buck if you, uh, if you just prep it yourself, a little bit of prep. Um, so we're gonna keep cutting in our apple, kind of cutting around that core. Careful how to cut yourself in. Then you need two apples for this, we're just gonna throw And now all of the apples are cut up and you can already see it's starting to look pretty. Um, next, we're gonna add a quarter cup of cranberries. So I've got a quarter cup out here. And I do want you to notice, I did swap out the cutting board because it is um, important since we, we used the lettuce and the lettuce wasn't already washed. Um, I wanted to swap out the cutting board just so we didn't get any of the germs or dirt that was on the lettuce onto our apple when we cut that. So it is good from a food safety perspective to just swap out for that quarter cup of cranberries around, spread that around. Next, we're gonna do a quarter cup of thinly sliced red onion. So we have a little bit of red onion from our garden. I'm just gonna cut off the head here. And if you remember last time we did, um, when we cut the onion, we did nicely fine diced. This time we're gonna do some slices um, just to make it nice thin um, red onion pieces in there. Just normally like you would see on a sandwich though versus um, that diced that you usually do to saute foods. piece off. 
And then again, using that kind of claw, we can still cut it in half so that we have less to work with at once. But that nice claw and tiny thin slices. You can see these are nice tiny slices like you would normally see on your sandwich and they can kind of fall apart. Um, so we just need a quarter cup, we don't need too much. And if we want, we can kind of cut them in half too, just to break them into pieces a little more. Get a little extra that's okay we kind of like onion so we'll just throw them on to the salad and have our eyes burning we'll move this off to the side and last but not least we need a half a cup of goat cheese so we're going to take the goat cheese and we're just going to kind of crumble it up now this is a quarter cup, so we're gonna kind of crumble it into our quarter cup piece here. Oops, try to. Kind of spread it out. And there's our goat cheese. And we cannot forget our candied walnuts that we just wonderfully made, or if you store bought some. We have our half a cup of walnuts from over here. And we're just gonna spread those in. And then we're gonna toss it around a little bit. Here you can see our nice salad. So next we're gonna make our dressing and um, I'll get all those ingredients out and we'll show you how to make that. All right, so we have a um, little shaker here to help with the dressing. But for this dressing, you're gonna need three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of honey, and then a teaspoon of the Dijon mustard. So we're gonna start with the olive oil. Throw that in there. One. tablespoons of our apple cider vinegar. And then one tablespoon of the honey, give it a little bit of sweetness. Hopefully the olive oil on there helps get some of the honey off. Kind of use it, this one to help. Then we'll move on to our Dijon mustard. So we'll use a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. shake it up here in a minute too. 
Um, but then you'll just add some salt and pepper to taste. Pepper in there. Now, I'm not a big salt fan, so I'm not going to add any salt right now, but um, now, now I'll just add the lid and shake it up some. And there's your salad dressing for the salad. Uh, two tablespoons is usually a serving size for your typical salad uh, dressing, but you can either put this all in a bowl so, and save the salad dressing so that it doesn't get too uh, mushy, but save it for yourself the next day or enjoy with your dinner.